Here I'm asked to complete the table and then label the ordered pairs and plot them on the coordinate system. So my table represents input, output coordinates, and then the associated ordered pairs. How that corresponds to the graph, the input coordinates go in the horizontal direction, the output coordinates go in the vertical direction. Let's see how the ordered pairs are going to show up on the graph. So input 4, output negative 3, that means I'm going to write that as 4, negative 3. Input 5, output 8, 5, 8. If I'm given the ordered pair 0, negative 4, 0 is input, negative 4 is output. Same thing with negative 2, 6. Negative 2 is input, and 6 is output. So I'm just going to write input here with the horizontal axis and output here with the vertical. Usually when we are using the language of input and output, we have a relationship that's defined between those two quantities, but not always. Sometimes we just use that language to represent the first coordinate as input and the second coordinate is the output. So let's look at 4, negative 3. 4 means to travel 4 in the positive direction on the horizontal axis, negative 3 in the negative direction on the vertical axis. So I'm going to plot that and label 4, negative 3. 5, 8, 5 positive in the horizontal, up to 8 positive in the vertical, label. 0, negative 4, 0 in the horizontal means stay right here, and then negative in the vertical direction means to go down, so 0, negative 4. Negative 2, 6, travel negative 2 in the horizontal direction and then positive 6 in the vertical plot and label negative 2, 6. I'm also going to identify what are called the quadrants. You see that the horizontal and vertical axis break our Cartesian coordinate plane into four sections. Quadrant 1, the coordinates are always positive, positive. Quadrant 2, the coordinates are always negative, positive. Quadrant 3, the coordinates are always negative, negative. And quadrant 4, the coordinates are always positive, negative.